This is funny. The 19-year-old Nazi who crashed a U-Haul into the barriers near the White House uh, wanted to seize power from Biden, uh, remove democracy from America, and take control. Later today, the man accused of ramming a U-Haul truck into a barrier near the White House last week will appear before a judge in court. Prosecutors say the suspect, Sai Kandula, wanted to end U.S. democracy and take over the government. Kandula reportedly told officers on the scene he was on a mission to kill President Biden and that he admired Nazis. And be this is hilarious that this dude thought he could single-handedly take down the United States when you had thousands of right-wingers who couldn't even take over the Capitol on January 6th. AC News Justice and Intelligence Correspondent Ken Delanian joins us now from Washington with more. Ken, I know you've done extensive reporting on what prosecutors are going to say about the U-Haul driver's intentions. What can you tell us about how the suspect apparently wanted to give a speech after taking power? Yeah, that's right, Joe. But uh, I first should tell you, and good morning, by the way, that uh, a, a document popped up in the docket this morning the suspect's lawyer is asking for a continuance of this hearing, saying she has not had enough time to prepare. So the detention hearing may well not happen today. But in preparation for it, prosecutors filed a memo in which they said they seized a diary, a so-called green book, from among Kandula's possessions in that U-Haul truck. And included in that green book was a draft speech that he intended to give once he seized power in the White House and he was announcing an end to U.S. democracy and the death penalty for any resistors. Remember that uh, we've already reported that he said he intended to kill the president if need be and seize power. He also told Secret Service agents that even though he didn't make it into the White House, he felt he was successful because uh, he sent a message to the Secret Service and other organizations. Remember yeah, he, he sent a very big message that he's incompetent. Remember, he had a Nazi flag, expressed admiration for Hitler. So uh, not a well person, obviously. Prosecutors asking to keep him behind bars pending trial. Yeah, so Ken, if the hearing happens today or, or when it does happen down the road, what exactly can we expect? What will prosecutors argue to try and keep the suspect in jail until a possible trial? They're arguing that the big ones, that he's a danger to the community and a flight risk. Well, you know, he flew here from St. Louis. That's where he lives. So they're saying he has no ties to the Washington, D.C. community. There's no place they can release him to be sure that he would appear. But they're also saying because of his dangerous rhetoric and his violent actions that he poses a continuing danger to the community. And so they are asking a judge to hold him in jail. Remember, he's charged with one count of depredation of property, of destroying federal property. He's not charged with trying to kill the president as of now. So, Ken, what is it we are learning about the suspect in the days after this attack? And what has been his defense so far? Well, he really hasn't had a chance to mount a defense. His lawyer, his public defender, is just now getting up to speed on the case. We don't know very much about him other than that the government said that he is a lawful permanent resident, so subject to deportation if he's convicted of this charge. And the government mentioned that he had visited uh, family in India. Um, and, that, and that's about it, really. But uh, clearly from the rhetoric that he's uh, espousing, uh, again, not a well person, Joe. All right. Ken Delanian, thank you so much.